Ari, we got to see DJ Lagway as a starting quarterback. It was against Samford, but it was what Florida fans have been dreaming about for over a year since the guy committed. To have a quarterback who can move around, can dump truck a defender, and with a flick of a wrist, drop it in the bucket 40 yards down the field. It was He was everything they hoped he'd be. It was against Sanford. Texas A&M's coming to town. Billy Napier says after the game, if Graham Mertz is back, there's a decision to be made. Is there a decision to be made? Can I back it up just for one second? Go for it. Because this has been weighing heavy on my mind, Andy. We have to quantify everything all the time in the sport. Well, it was against Samford, or well, it was against an overmatched G5 yes. team. Yes, or yes, Michigan yes. Stinks okay, when okay, Texas okay. Wins. We always have to quantify everything. Let me just ask you this. Do you think the opponent matters? And obviously, if he's playing Georgia, it's not the same thing as playing Samford. But do you think the how much do you think the opponent matters when you can tell with your eyeballs, your beautiful eyeballs, that someone has it or not? Like, why why do we have to quantify that? It, it, was it only it only matters because better players allow better coaches to create confusion in a quarterback's mind. That's it. So that's where experience probably helps a little bit. That said. I do not think there's a choice here. Yeah. I, I, I think I, DJ Lagway gives him the best chance to win because he can do things that Graham Mertz cannot. And because that offensive line against Texas A&M's defensive line, especially, we don't know how they're going to hold up. And who do you think gives you a better chance of keeping the play alive, Graham Mertz or DJ Lagway? Yeah, I'm not saying that I think that DJ Lagway is a top five quarterback already. But what I am saying is, is that I saw enough with my eyeballs to tell you that a this kid has it yeah. and b uh, it gives your program some much needed enthusiasm during a time where we're entering potentially apathy yeah i mean i don't know what else you would need to see i guess he and it's not like he had a pretty good game he threw for 450 yards so take 200 yards off of that and just say the opponent was better like, right I, I don't, it's like he looked really good He's supposed to make mistakes. If they start him and he plays in the SEC, he is going to make mistakes. Yeah. But you know who else is going to make mistakes? Graham Mertz. <laughs> yeah. Like, so, like, and it, if it you happens. So, and if you lose this one, look, after Miami, we just assumed they were going to lose them all. Yeah. So, so here's the here's yeah. the discussion here, because I think everybody's on the same page. I think every Florida fan, I don't think you'd be like, put Mertz back in. Because, no, I think that Florida fans, and tell me, correct me, because I do this. I speak for people. What are we playing for in Florida this year? Like, what like, What are the fans in Gainesville? Like, we are already I, you know, at the point that's where... That's a great question, because I honestly don't know what they're playing for. Okay, so if you're not playing for wins and losses, which sounds stupid, but you have to also acknowledge they the want, fact... Because they want to get rid of Billy Napier. They want DJ Lagway to be good. But I, there's, a, there's a scenario where even if DJ Lagway is good, Billy Napier still gets fired, and then you have to figure out how do you try to keep okay, DJ so, Lagway? So before yeah. we go into the Lagway discussion again, what is if you are a Florida super fan yep. who has the swamp in nice lettering over their bedroom like door? Like tattooed on your forehead. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I got you. What is the best possible outcome for Florida this season? Don't think big picture, mm -hmm. think this season. Like what are you hoping for? DJ Lagway proves that he's a good quarterback, and then whatever happens with the coaching situation. DJ Lagway is Florida's quarterback in 2025. I think that if you asked a Florida yeah. fan, what is your ideal situation? That would be their ideal situation. I don't think they care. Like, I guess if, if they wind up being really good, which given what we saw against Miami, still probably not happening. But DJ Lagway winds up being really good. You just figure out how to keep him. You know, one how you, way or the other. you notice how you didn't say X number of wins in the SEC? Because I sure didn't. It doesn't matter. I sure didn't. They're, yeah. all, they're not winning the SEC. They're not making the playoff. Even if they won six games, that's not Florida standard. Right. So what do you what do but you what do you do to keep for? What do you do to keep that guy if he is that guy? And again, we don't know that. He had a very good game against Sanford. He could have a good game against AM. He could have a he's a freshman. Let him he, have his terrible yeah, games. Yeah. Like I think a terrible game from DJ Lagway is still but, better than a pretty good game from, from well, Graham Mertz. And I, and I think, you're not I playing think for Florida anything. people are kind of scarred from knowing how amazingly talented Anthony Richardson was and watching Emory Jones trot out there every week. Like they, that, that I think has, has fried some people's brains and I don't, I don't blame them because it, it made no sense then. And then, but the other piece of it is 
Billy Napier does get Anthony Richardson. He starts him for a year. He has all this amazing ability because if we if we were to compare skill sets between Anthony Richardson and DJ Lagway, Anthony Richardson is still actually probably bigger. As he throws like 80 yards off of his back foot in an NFL and game. And he today. went yeah. six and six yeah. as Florida's starter. So I think you separate the Billy Napier of it all from it, which is crazy because Billy Napier is the one who's going to decide which one starts. Well, but, here's the thing that I don't understand. Because from what I saw, Billy Napier has already come out and said they're going to go back to Graham Mertz. I mean, he he didn't come out and say that. He didn't say it in so many that's words. That's the way I interpreted that. Okay. So you, you tell that me. That is probably how you should have interpreted okay. it. I, I think would that's assume, how he wanted it to be watching, interpreted. Watching him coach, I would assume he would choose the most conservative well, option. We're going yeah. back to the initial plan means the initial plan, which is Graham Mertz starting because that was the initial plan because words matter, right? Like, I don't know. But the thing I don't understand is what does Billy have to gain from that? Nothing. Thing. You're you're a, you're in a situation where people think you're a dead man walking. Yeah. Let it rip, man. The one Let it rip. the one guy who might save you. Where is number two? The one guy. And why would number two be sitting down? What's the benefit? Unless you don't want to be saved. Hi, you're Billy Napier. Yeah. Now. Being yeah, Billy yeah. Napier. Why are you doing this? You, give me your best your best thought of what he could be thinking. So Ari. Uh, I get a $26 million buyout. They owe me half of that up front. I invest that half well. Just let my money work for me. And I can I then never have to work again. My grandchildren never have to work yeah. again, Ari. So uh, that's it. That money's that's, coming either way. Though. That's the so, like, that's, I, I realize that. And actually, actually he, makes, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he makes 15% yeah. more than that if he just continues to coach and coaches out the contract. Money. Yeah. Think about how much more money you would make by not being a fired and failed SEC coach that no one will hire again. <laughs> So, you know, I want to talk about income potential, but I don't know what a football standpoint or a job preservation standpoint you have to gain. Why did I have to play that? Billy Napier there and, and answer the unanswerable question? Because there is there is no I'll do logical it. explanation. I'll be Billy Napier. All right, Billy. I'm, I'm DJ Lagway. Coach, what gives? I've got nothing. I, I, okay, I, see? <laughs> yeah, like that's because <laughs> I can't even fathom what it would be. I honestly don't even know what it would be. And if your number one criticism for Billy Napier is he's a man with a plan who has accomplished half or if even half of what can he's... We, can so we stop what, with the plan? He has no plan. We know okay, he has right, no plan. Fine. That's so, the point I'm making. So yeah. if, he, if he has no plan, then playing Graham Mertz, I think, is the personification of not having a plan. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, maybe he, has, maybe he has a plan, but it's a it's terrible a plan. plan. No, he has a plan. So it just it's, didn't work. it's time to go to plan D, Jay. You like that? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you don't like Let's that. Just, no, it was great. I think that's where you... Start DJ Lagway. Yeah. It's that simple. Please, just start him. Please. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Just a reminder, subscribe to this channel right here so you never miss an episode of Andy Staples on 3. And oh, by the way, watch all the other great videos on the On 3 Sports YouTube channel.